Welcome, thank you all for being here. We're very excited about this year's competition. School of International Service at American University was nice enough to let us use their facilities today. And the Cyber 912 project is about the idea that it's not what's going to happen when we have a Cyber 911, it's what's going to happen the day after. How do we respond to that attack? And what we were trying to do with the project is to bring together the policy wonks and the technical operators. And there's this divide that often happens between the guys who know what's going on in cyber and the ones that are making decisions about the guys that know what's going on in cyber. I think these kinds of events are important because we've had the technical events happen before, the hackathons, the student-based technical trains, but this is the first cyber policy event of its kind. So to have the opportunity to come to a place where there are a hundred students from across the country who are all kind of interested in these issues and working on them at various places I think gives as a much better sense of what the community is like. So that I think has been exciting just, just from the perspective of meeting people. I think the thing that most surprised me about the event was who the judges were. I was speaking for the first inject and Jeff Moss walked into the room and I panicked a little bit um, because Jeff Moss is such a huge name in, in this community. It's a significant honor in a lot of ways to be able to present something you've worked on for a long period of time and put a lot of effort into to be able to show that to someone you respect that much. I think it's amazing and I think it's a really great opportunity for young professionals. And I'm only in my first year of grad school, so I'll be back again next year. My staff taught me that you need to think of cyber as a domain. And they, they kind of did that. Land, sea, air, space, cyber. This is a great honor for SAIC Lido's um, events that we do with the Atlantic Council to further cybersecurity throughout the United States. First place, Team 4.